Dear students, here there is a question before you. How to find the solution of a quadratic equation by completing the square method? We have studied different different types of methods. Here is one of that method, which is what we call completing the square method. So listen to this one very perfectly. Uh, listen to the steps very perfectly. So here, here goes the solution. Here there is a quadratic equation is given. We have to find the solution of a this given quadratic equation by using the method of completing the square. So this is the given quadratic equation. So we will write given 5x square minus 6x minus 2 is equal to 0. I will teach you two methods. Here goes the first method. First method means whenever you are seeing a constant number, take that to the right hand side. That is the first step. So 5x square minus 6x, we are keeping that in the LHS. We are transferring the constant number to the right hand side. So this will become 0 plus 2, yani ki 2. It will become only 2. So after this one, the thing which you have to be noticed that uh, the coefficient of x square should be 1. x square ka coefficient jo hai 1 hona chahiye. Like in either to 5 is given. As 5 is given, what you have to do? If you are dividing this particular equation by 5, uh, this will become 1. The coefficient of x square will become 1. So that what we have to do? If you want to divide this particular term by 5 you have to divide the whole equation by 5 so that's why dividing the equation throughout by 5 what we will get 5x square divided by 5 minus 6x divided by 5 is equal to 2 divided by 5 here 5 and 5 will get cancelled, right? Then you will get x square minus 6 by 5x is equal to 2 by 5. This is the first preliminary step. That means you got now the coefficient of x square is 1 itself, right? So now goes the important term of this one. We have to add a particular number to the both of the sides, to the LHS and to the RHS. Which number should we add? That's the important thing which we have to understand. So check out the coefficient of x, only the number. So here it is 6 by 5, 6 by 5. Take the coefficient of x, okay? Only the coefficient of x, not the sign. Only the number. Kali number le lijiga, sign ka baare mein mat sochna, kali number. So take the half of this number. Is number ka aadha, is number ka aadha ka madla? Into 1 by 2. 1 by 2 say multiply karte hue, ye dono cut ho jayega, 3 ho jayega. So that will become 3 by 5. This becomes 3 by 5. So what did I say? Take the coefficient of x and take the half of that one. You got the half, then find the square, total square. Iska pura ka square. Ye number jo hai, iska dono side mein aapko add karna hai. Kaun sa number? x ka coefficient jo bhi hai, wo number ka aadha nikali hai. Wo, wo number ka aadha jo aata hai, uska square nikalna hai. So now you have to add, adding 3 by 5 the whole square on both sides. What we will get? x square minus 6 by 5x plus 3 by 5 the whole square is equal to 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5 the whole square. This one, you know, here it is x square, here there is 3 by 5 square. Ye jo hai a square plus a square minus 2ab plus b square ka jaisa hai. So by applying the formula, you can make this as, ye to kya, kya likh sakta hai? x minus, kyunki idhar minus hai, x minus 3 by 5. A ka jaga x aya, b ka jaga x plus 5 aya, uh, 3 by 5 aya. So x minus 3 by 5, the whole square ka ke isko bana sakta hai, jaisa ki a minus b the whole square is equal to, ye jo hai, this is 2 by 5 plus 3 ka square, 9, 5 square is 25. Then again, here multiplying up and down by 5 and taking the LCM. So let us see, x minus 3 by 5, the whole square will be equal to, agar idhar aapne LCM nikha diya, it's 25 hoga. 25 divided by 5 is 5, right? 5 into 2 is 10, then plus 25 divided by 25 is 1, 1 into 9 is 9. So that you will get 19 divided by 25. After this one, now you got this much. 
Now let us take the square roots on both sides. Taking square roots. What do we get? Idhar ka square root nikalega to ye khali x minus 3 by 5 ho jayega. Idhar jo hai plus or minus of root of 19 by 25 you will get. Right? That means that is equal to plus or minus root 19 divided by 5. You already know because 25 ka root jo hai 5 aata hai. Lekin 19 it is a third. You can't find it. So it is still inside the root. Now iska madalab kya hai? x minus 3 by 5 is equal to root of 19 by 5 or x minus 3 by 5 is equal to minus root of 19 by 5. From here x is equal to what you can write x is equal to agar ye 3 by 5 ko us tarah leke gaya to ye kya ho jayega boliye root 19 by 5 plus 3 by 5. So taking that what you can write here 5 you will get root 19 plus 3. Here what about this one? x is equal to either 3 by 5 us tarah leke jaya to plus 3 by 5 ho jayega either to minus root 19 by 5 pada hai. So dono ka LC me ki hai 5 so either aega 3 minus root 19. So this will be the solution by doing that one. A ulta bulta bhi likh sakta hai. Pahle uh, you can write 3 by 5 here then you can take it here but here uh, already it is negative number so I thought that taking this positive to bringing that one negative number ko right side me leke jate ho to positive ho jaye isliye ho shuru me likha hai thik hai aisa man sojna ki hamesha ye shuru me aega waisa nahi idhar to sign to waisa tha isliye mene shuru aad me ye likha fir baat me ye likhne ka prayas kiya clear that is the method number one so let us take the same question let us do the same question in the different method so first of all as I told you you have to write the given equation equation jo bhi diya wo pehle udhar likh lena hai iska baad pehle ka jaisa same thing first of all constant tempo right hand mein leke jana hai 5x square minus 6x is equal to minus 2 udhar jate hoi plus 2 ho jayega after this one what we have to do check out the coefficient of x square x square ka coefficient hamesha ek perfect square hona chahi what is perfect square 1 ka square 1 2 ka square 4 3 ka square 9 4 ka square 16 the square of 5 25 square of 6 36 like this you can write the squares of any number that's what we call the perfect square numbers right so the coefficient of x square should be a perfect square number other coefficient of x square a perfect square number hai to, it's okay Nahi hai to, you have to make it Usko ek perfect square mein banana hai. you have to make it a perfect square number so either 5 hai, 5 ko konsa number se multiply karte huye agla aane wale koi bhi anything any perfect square number ho cha, ho cha, uh, it should be a perfect square number so by which number when you are multiplying this 5 will get the next perfect square number you can see if you are multiplying 5 by any number you will not get 1 you will not get 4 you will not get 9 you will not get 16 but if you are multiplying 5 by 5 you will get 25 so we can say we can multiply this by 5 so that you will get 24. Agar idhar maan lije ki 3x square diya hai. 3x square diya hai. Idhar 5x square ke jaga. Agar 3x square hai. Toh koon sa number se multiply karna padega. 3 se multiply karo. Taki 3 into 3 9 ho jayega. Hai na. So that's why just understand how we are taking this 5. You have to bring it to the nearest perfect square number. You have to bring it to the nearest perfect square number. Here the nearest perfect square is 25. So I am going to multiply the whole equation by 5. So multiplying. Multiplying throughout by 5. What you will get? 25x square minus either 5 sa multiply karta huye, 6 5 sa. 30x is equal to 5 2 sa 10. Is ko 5x the whole square karke leak sakta hai. 5x ka whole square minus 30x is equal to 10. Hamesha wai sa ilik li jiga. Every time you have to write it as a perfect square number ka square ek number ka square pura kul mila ke ek bracket ka andar hona chahiye us tarah ko usko badalna hai now check out the middle aisa le lijiyega second wala number pura le lijiyega 30x hai pura 30x divided by 2 into first term what is the first term it is 5x total 5x again i repeat center wala term waisa hi copy kar dijiyega divided by 2 into first term first term is 5x so 5 and 30 they will cut. How much time? 6 5 are 30. X or X cut ho jayega. 
सिक्स एंड टू अगेन कट कर सकता है टू वन सर टू थ्री टू सर सिक्स आखिर आपको थ्री मिला था इसका स्क्वायर थ्री का स्क्वायर ये थ्री का स्क्वायर से दोनों साइड को ऐड करना है सो यू राइट हियर एडिंग बोथ साइड बाय थ्री स्क्वायर थ्री का स्क्वायर से दोनों साइड को ऐड करना है सी हाउ डिड यू गोट थ्री स्क्वायर सेंडर टाइम जो भी है वैसा ही लिख लीजिएगा पूरा डिवाइडेड बाई टू इंटू फर्स्ट टर्म देन जो भी कट करने वाला चीज कट करके निकालिए उसका उत्तर जो भी आएगा उत्तर का स्क्वायर उत्तर का स्क्वायर से दोनों साइड को प्लस करना है करते हुए क्या मिलेगा बोलिए इधर फर्स्ट टर्म इज फाइव एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस थर्टी एक्स प्लस थ्री स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टेन प्लस थ्री स्क्वायर ये व्हाट विल दिस हैपन दिस विल बी दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज फाइव माइनस क्योंकि इधर माइनस दिया है थ्री का स्क्वायर इधर थ्री द होल स्क्वायर यानी कि ए स्क्वायर माइनस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर का जैसा है ए का जगह फाइव एक्स आया बी का जगह थ्री आया राइट सो वी सिंप्लीफाइड दैट वन दैट इज इक्वल टू टेन प्लस बोलिए थ्री का स्क्वायर नाइन होगा दैट इज नाइनटीन सो दैट मच यू गॉट नो लेट एस गो एड अभी इतना मिल गया स्क्वायर मिलने के बाद टेकिंग स्क्वायर रूट ऑन बोथ साइड दोनों साइड में स्क्वायर रूट निकाली इधर स्क्वायर रूट निकालते हुए स्क्वायर तो निकल जाएगा सो फाइव एक्स माइनस थ्री द होल स्क्वायर था इसका रूट निकालना रूट ऑफ नाइनटीन सो इधर का इसका स्क्वायर निकालते हुए क्या हो जाएगा ये स्क्वायर जो है हट जाएगा क्योंकि यू नो इट थ्री का स्क्वायर कितना होता है थ्री होता है राइट right? थ्री का स्क्वायर जो है थ्री ही होता है मीन्स थ्री का स्क्वायर क्या है थ्री इंटू थ्री है सो so, उसमें एक थ्री बाहर आएगा वैसा फाइव एक्स माइनस थ्री द होल स्क्वायर का मतलब क्या है फाइव एक्स माइनस थ्री इन टू फाइव एक्स माइनस थ्री दो फाइव एक्स माइनस थ्री होगा उसके अंदर से एक फाइव एक्स थ्री बाहर आएगा लाइक दैट ऑल्सो यू कैन टेक सो फाइव एक्स माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू प्लस और माइनस ऑफ रूट नाइनटीन क्योंकि कोई भी चीज का रूट तो प्लस भी हो सकता है नेगेटिव भी हो सकता है क्योंकि माइनस टू इंटू माइनस टू भी फोर है टू इंटू टू भी फोर है इसलिए हम कहते हैं रूट ऑफ फोर क्या हो सकता है वो प्लस टू भी हो सकता है माइनस टू भी हो सकता है लाइक दैट By taking this condition, we can say it can be plus or minus. Also, it can be plus or minus. So from this one, we can say there are two conditions. One to five x minus three is equal to root nineteen, or five x minus three is equal to minus root nineteen. Here, next step, बोलिए five x is equal to इधर minus है minus उस तरह लेके जाएगा तो plus three हो जाएगा. Then इधर plus root nineteen है. So here, x is equal to 3 plus root 19 divided by 5. That is the first answer. Going to the second one, either be 5x is equal to either minus 3 उस तरह लेके जाएगा तो plus 3 हो जाएगा. फिर बाद में इधर minus root 19 है. ऐसा मत सोचना कि पहले इसका number उधर लेके जाने फिर बाद में वो लिखने हैं. ऐसा नहीं. क्योंकि इधर तो minus पहले से दिया है. The right hand side is already minus. इसलिए मैंने ऐसा सोचा कि अगर ये वाला number उस तरह लेके जाते हुए ये क्या हो जाएगा? Positive number हो जाएगा. पॉजिटिव नंबर शुरुआत में लिखेगा तो अच्छा लगेगा इसलिए मैंने वैसा किया है ऐसा मत सोचें कि हमेशा वैसा करता है बस यू व्हेन यू कमिंग हियर यू विल गेट एन आइडिया हाउ टू ट्रांसफर दम ओके लाइक दैट यू कैन टेक इट नो प्रॉब्लम सो फ्रॉम हियर अगेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री माइनस रूट नाइनटीन डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव सो हियर वी हैव स्टडी टू डिफरेंट मदर्स फ्रॉम दिस टू मदर्स वन थिंग इज वेरी क्लियर दैट वाट एवर मदर्ड यू आर यूजिंग यू विल गेट द सेम एंसर बट द ओनली थिंग विच यू डिफर्स द ओनली थिंग विच इज द डिफरेंस इज अप टू हियर It's up to here. That means choosing the number which should be added on both sides. And the another difference which you found is here. That means by which number you should add here, uh, multiply here. In the first method, it was by which number you should divide it because you have to make the coefficient of x square one so that you have to divide it by that coefficient. But here you have to multiply with a particular number so that the first number will become. A perfect square number. That is the only thing which you have to remember. So both of the methods are easy for you. Which method is suitable? Which method is perfect for you? You can use that method. Okay, that's all.